Okay, now demonstration of rubber dam for number 14 endo. Same thing here. We are going to remember you have to have it kind of in the middle, not so much to one side, not so much to the other side. Kind of in the middle. You can mark. with a sharpie I would go up to number 12 then you make the holes this time you're gonna have this big hole for the two molars and then this one in the center for premolars so let's start from the back Molar, molar, premolar, premolar. Okay, so now I'm going to show you about the clamp. I pre selected a clamp here. A good clamp that I like is number 14. I don't find mine now, but I selected two clamps here. So first thing you have to do is to test the clamp. Guys, of course you have to do this in a head, in a bowl, right? So I'm making it like easier this way. I'm not doing like that because I'm doing demonstration so otherwise I wouldn't be able to film right but yes it is a little bit more complicated so again you put the clamp on the clamp holder through through those holes you go to number 15 then you go grab the Go below the equator the higher contour of the tube and then you have to test the clamp like bringing your finger like imitating like the rubber is trying to pull it toward this direction right so you check it if you have stability if you don't if it start to move this way if it gets loose so then try another clamp and try another one okay so there is three ways of placing the rubber dam and the clamp together. First way is clamp and rubber dam together. That's the most common one. The one that I do most, most of the times. You have those wings of the clamp. So you go here and you capture the rubber with those rings with those wings like this i lost the other one so then you go to the tooth and you capture the whole thing like this wait a minute then you have to remember of releasing the rubber from the wings both sides otherwise irrigation is going to go through the patient's mouth then now you have to go through the other teeth people used to put some vaseline on the teeth i don't like to do that when i'm doing restorative because not a good idea to have vaseline and 
etching and bonding and composite you know you're not going to be sure that you remove the whole Vaseline so you kind of contaminate the area so get floss again to go through sometimes you need to go more than once to make sure that the rubber goes into the embrasure especially molars because, because they have wider contact points then you can bring the rubber down like this and then to stabilize because what is the tendency the rubber is going to pull be pulled right here on the mesial of number 12 so you do that's the same thing with a little piece of rubber dam you go to the corner to the mesial pull it boom that's it okay so then that's the way you're gonna see how it's gonna look it's gonna look like that okay that's it that's the end of this video